Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, radio check. Blue Cherokee reads 20 Romeo, loud and clear. Altimeter? Hey, we did. That was another. I got 29 or 84. What you do is just put that yeah. down there and it should be. 29 or 84, thank you. Just trying to get him to do his job right. Yep. <laughs> but he's up in the airplane. Oh, that, that, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's not him. That's the guy in the airplane. Oh, Terry, Terry must be on the phone. Oh, okay. Hey. I he, feel bad. He, 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 he <laughs> he's said, just being helpful. Yeah, he said the blueberry region. Okay. Dick or Alex? Uh, no, that's a uh, guy from Pittsfield. Oh. But that's what I do is I always set this to 740, and then that's the ultimate. Even if. Nobody in there. That's your altimeter setting two nine eight four. Right. I'm just trying to get in the proper yeah, habit yeah, of. Yeah. I'm just going to close so I just get this stuff off the window so I can open the door. Okay. okay. Yeah, we can take off on two nine if you want, or one one. I don't care. Doesn't make a big difference today, does it? Uh, no, because we're taking off and we're going to go down the valley, so we'll take off on 1-1. One, one. Okay. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, back taxi, runway 11. Thought that was the young kid in the office there. Uh, no, 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 <laughs> no, that was, uh, he just he just said the blue bear hears you because uh, nobody else could. Uh. Oh, that was the blue one that just took off, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. That was one of Walter's original planes, too, right? Uh, a long, long time ago, yeah. Yeah. I think I interacted with them on Facebook. Okay. Creeping. How's it? Left drop. Drop. RP and cube skid, soil. Fuel selector is proper tank. I've already done fuel pump. All of the pages, uh, great. Still cold from the morning. Those are both primer locked uh, robes on. Repeats off. Mixtures. Here's doing its thing. Flaps to two. I finally ordered a watch, too. Oh, cool. <laughs> one, one with actual numbers on it. <laughs> Altimeter's good. Okay, uh, transponder to alt. Well. 
controls are free. Here, windows, doors. Close and latch. Good. Belts. Off brief is we basically uh, short field takeoff with the brake. Fly full power, looking for everything in the green. Uh, roll forward, airspeed's alive, rotate at 60, climb out at 74 is extra wide. VX uh, uh, can transition over past the obstacles to VY, which is about 83. And uh, lose power short of uh, pattern altitude. We look for a field in the distance, and if we get to altitude or pattern altitude, we have the chance to back. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, departing runway 11, uh, heading to the south. Okay, full power, gauge is in the green, highs at the end of the runway. No crosswind to deal with. Check 60. A little, little bit of red, redder there. Okay. Very nice. So it's, uh, we can do a right crosswind? Uh, yep, yep, it just goes a little further out and right. just gonna just pass these houses here. And then you just make a call out, just say Great Barrington, 7520 Romeo, making a right crosswind departure to the south. Okay. And past this hill or before uh, the hill? Uh, just uh, anywhere, anywhere, anytime after these, this open area right here. Okay. We'll go up to a heading of, uh, actually we didn't set that on takeoff. Oh. Red lines in traffic, Jokey 558, back taxiing runway 29. There's that one. There you go. Okay, back to traffic, 7520 Romeo, uh, right crosswind departing to the south. And go to heading to 210 and, uh, let's go up to, uh, 2500 feet. Uh, weather, okay, Barrington, that's great. See that? Like she's climbing a little slower today. Well, let's see here. Yeah, he's got a pretty good load of fuel on her. Wow. Makes that big of a difference, huh? Yep. Yeah. Stop the traffic helicopter 8 Zulu Bravo 4 Northeast descending on a 2500 landing. Angry Bank traffic. Uh, the champs, the beam the numbers of one down with two nine. Hey, we're turning now to hitting a one nine zero. holding short two nine. You can bring your flaps up anytime you want. Oh, that could have something to do with it too, huh? Yeah. And then also, uh, you're you're weak and unreadable. Can you try that again? Turn your fuel pump off now too. Yeah. Yep. One nine zero. Okay, uh, we'll be looking for we're three northeast now. Come on, line up on runway uh, two zero. Okay, just review when you're leveling off, 10% of your rate of your climb, you're doing 500 feet a minute, so 50 feet before you climb, you just gonna very slowly let the nose slow down, let the airspeed increase, and then as you get to your cruise speed, then you are back and then you trim it out. Or you can trim it out, you know you're gonna have to have a little bit of trim on the way uh, initially, so you can trim it down, whatever it takes. Five kilo over Calvinson. To the northeast will be inbound landing 33, Brookhaven traffic. 
Roman And just hold it there, let the airspeed catch up. Yeah. Oh. Went a little farther. Uh, There's our speed tonight, just bring the power right back to your normal cruise power, but hold your altitude down, you gotta hold that altitude down. Hold that nose right down. There you go. And you can, if you got a lot of trim pressure, you can bring the power back, take off a little trim there just before you bring the power back, just to help you out a little bit. There you go. Okay, then so around 2300, 400. Yeah, I bet you got to make it 2500. We're going to start getting you set up, you know, so you're going to, you know, uh, be ready so you don't have to worry about uh, fine tuning it in the future for the check ride. So you're going to level off at 2500. So. Okay, so there it is. There's 2550. So don't be afraid to push your nose right down. See this? You be, be, can be passively aggressive with the airplane here. See it? There it is. There's my 2500. And there it is right there. Okay. okay. to the Bravo is landing runway 20 at uh, South Bridge, Michigan. Okay, when you're ready, we'll do a 30-degree uh, bank, uh, 360 to left, followed by 360 to the right. Okay, so you check for traffic first, so you just do a 90-degree, you got to do a little bit of a 90-degree check for, check for traffic, look behind the airplane. Okay. That's good, and 90 degree to the right, looks good. Through 1,500, we'll be turning on a midfield left downwind, full stop, 3-3, three, three, bring in the traffic. Good. Okay, so 360 to yeah, the right? Uh, 360, 30 degree bank, okay, and you want to maintain 2,500, okay? Okay, three, get back down there then. Yep. There you go. Robert from Brunswick, Skyhawk. 5.2, climbing right crosswind. 30 degrees yep. to the right. Okay, here you go. Okay. I'll watch outside there, just watch the horizon there. What you do, you need to just watch these two right here. See, right. You, you want 30 degrees of bank, so there's 30 right there. Okay. 30 degrees right there, right between the two. Okay. Right between the two, and then you got to hold that nose for the altitude. to keep the bank right in there, 30 degrees of bank. So I thought it was between those two. Uh, no, that's uh, 30, that goes oh, okay. 10, 20, 30. But that's, right. it's between these two right here. Ah, yeah, so okay. They're, they're, that's, yeah. Trying to get myself in the habit of launching and yep. uh, looking up here because I was using yep. down there and that yep. seems to be harder for me yeah, to get. Yeah, I mean, if you look outside, once you see the bank, you see that's a 30 degree bank, you should be able to keep it somewhere in that vicinity like that. Just find that there you go. altitude control is good. When you get to heading 190, you're going to go from one turn to the right, right to the turn to the left. Okay. And I just go right to the turn to the left. 30 degrees. Okay. You got plus minus, plus minus 10 degrees bank. There okay. Get that sight picture. Yeah. And altitude control is beautiful. Angle. A little more power here. Yep. Look good. I see you descending a little bit to the left, so you gotta just hold that. See that nose? Yep. Just bring that nose right up. And so as you see it going 20, 30 feet off the the altitude, that's when you make the correction. Don't wait until it's 50 to. Then it's tougher to make the correction at that point. Okay, coming back around to my 190. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Sit All right. Sit. Okay, let's slow the airplane up to 65 uh, air miles an hour indicated, okay? All so right. this is, uh, you got to maintain 2,500 feet. You gotta, so you got no, you got to maintain 2,500. Oh. Yeah, no. So oh. you just start straight okay. on the flight. So the first thing you do is just like landing, okay? You have to pattern altitude, 1,700 feet, we're going to get your 2,500. Put the carburetor heat on first. There you go. I just made the power back below 2,000, okay? Now the nose wants okay. to go down. And so now I'm going to pitch to maintain my yeah, altitude. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, don't pump it. Just hold it right there. Uh -huh. Now you can put down your first, you're in the flat plane, so I put down your first notch. And I just give it one turn of trim up. Go right to one turn of trim up. Now take your hands off the wheel. It should be about 100. Perfect, okay? Uh -huh. So you're a little high there, so let it come down. Put down your second notch. Okay, give it another turn of trim up, because eventually you're going to have to have all the trim in there, okay? Okay. There's 
Right there. Now, see, now here's your altitude there. So okay. now you just go ahead and put down your third notch. Put the trim all the way up there. You're going to need it. Now it is. I'm just going to maintain 2,500 feet. See the speed coming down? When the yep. speed gets to 65, I'm just going to add just enough power to maintain the speed. So there's, that's good there. That's good. Okay. Right. Okay. Still slow. You're 80 miles an hour. So you don't want to descend. You're going to start uh, descend here. Don't descend. Hold it. Nose up. Nose up. Hold it. Nose up. There, now start feeding the power in a little bit. That's going to rest your airspeed. Bring it a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit. There you go, just like that. There you got your 65 and your 2500. Very good. Now give me a turn to the right to a heading of uh, 270. Okay. okay, and these are shallower. Yeah, these are like yep, 17 yep. degrees. Yep, because you got the, your, uh, you're flying just above the stall. And uh, as you increase your bank, you increase your stall speed. So there you are. Look at that. 65. Looks good. You got plus or minus, uh, plus 10 on the speed, minus zero. So that's good. Okay. okay. Altitude's good. Now I see you're losing a little altitude, so just pull, pull the nose up just a little bit and give it just 10 or 15 RPM. You got it right to okay. 270. 2500? Or 270. 270. Yeah, 270. Oh, I saw it said yep. 250. Yep. There's my there's 270. There's my 270, 270 again. Okay. I just go back to your heading of 180 now, okay? 180. Yep. Okay. Now just look outside. Just you see, you see the nose. Just see that? All I need is a shallow bank, just like that. Yep. See, just a shallow bank. That's all I need. There's my airspeed. There's my altitude. Look outside. <coughs> You'll see that the airplane does much better that way there. Stop to turn at 180. Okay. Perfect. Now we do is now we're going to do a, a stall, okay? A power off stall. So what you do is you're going to hold that 65. Now just bring the power back. Bring it back pretty much a little bit more. Bring it back. Bring it back. We'll hold your 65. Let the nose. Now you got to let the nose down to maintain okay. the 65. See? So hold the 65. Bring the power back just a little bit more. Okay. Now you started a descent. That's what you did. You hold the 65. Now don't let it go below 2400. So you're not going to add power. You're just going to bring it. Just look straight ahead. And when it gets to 2,400 feet, you're just going to start increasing the back. Okay. This represents your stall. You're coming in on a landing, holding it off, holding it off, and you're a little too high, okay? Okay. I just look straight ahead on the sky. This is my 24th, so now just start pulling the nose up, pulling it up nice and easy. Don't let it go below the... Is it pending there? stall? Yep. Hold it, see this? Hold it right back there. See? Stall. I give it full power. Full power. And fly it right on. Now, use your flying speed, and so I just get it right back up. Then get that nose right back up. Take off one notch of flaps. There you go. Let's turn to the right to a heading of, uh, let's go uh, right to a heading of north. Okay, now we can do the same thing. There's my then I'll slow it back up to 65, so just bring the power back. There we go. Bring it back. Just maintain your altitude, though. Bring it back below 2,000. There you go. Now you can put down your third notch of flaps. There you go. Get to 65, then just bring the power back. And keep your 65, but start a descent, okay? Okay. There you go. Okay, so there's my 65, so now just bring the power back. And start a descent. There you go, very nice, like that. See that? Perfect. Perfect. And now 2400, just level off and don't let it, don't let it, uh. Okay. Okay, okay. now nice, it looks straight ahead. Just enough, to, now you can bring the power back just a little bit more. Right, don't. Impending stall. There's a the stall. Okay, you don't have to shove the nose okay. over quite that much, okay? Because again, I'll just, just let it drop. Yeah, just I'll just show you here. Here we go. Okay, see it. Okay. Ending stall. There's the stall. 
Oh, that, oh, that's that's not your fault. That's the airplane. That really, with three notches, it really pitched over. Okay, so that that's fine. That was fine. Okay. That's the airplane itself. Okay, great. Now clean it up. Okay. <coughs> we'll maintain 2200. Uh, leave two knots of flaps. Okay, two knots of flaps. Okay. This is going to be a takeoff departure stall. Okay, so again, what they do, you take the carburetor heat off now. And what they do is they uh, up to a minimum of 65% power. They don't want you to give it full power anymore because it stands it on its tail. Okay, so we'll do one to uh, straight ahead. Okay, so just bring the power back a little bit. Bring it back a little bit more. Bring, bring it back below 2,000. Now start a climb. Okay, just pull the nose up there. Now just go ahead and give it a uh, give, tw uh, give 2,400, 2,300 RPM. Okay, now nice and easy. Just pull it back and stall the airplane. Keep the wings level. Pull it back, pull it back, pull it right back. Appendix stall, there's the stall. <coughs> All right, and that's what it does. They, they said that's uh, minimum of 65% power, which is 2300 RPM on this airplane here. Okay. 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 So there's my heading of north. Okay, now I'll level off again. We'll try another one. We'll do a turn to the right. Okay, you're departing the airplane to the, to the uh, airport to the left. Okay, so bring the power back a little bit. Bring it back. And I just bring the nose up, give me about a 20 degree bend, it's maximum 20 degrees of bang. So just, that's to all right, right left. There, there, to the left okay. there, now just nice and easy. Okay, now give to it, full, now just give it 20, that, that's good, now give it 20, 2300 RPM. All right, all right, hang on, there. Okay, what you do is on the takeoff departure stall, okay? They're just going to say, we need to take off departure stall with a 20 degree bang turn. So all they do is they bring the power back, watch this, bring the nose up. Now I just put in a little turn like this and I give it right up to 2300 RPM, that's all I want. And pending stall, say this here. There's the stall, give it full power, and recover, okay? Okay. So it's very simple, try one to the right now, okay? So again, just bring the power back a little bit, now just start a climbing turn to the right, not, 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 not climbing turn to the right. Okay, now give it to 2300, bring the 2300 RPM in there. Impending stall, stall. Now, just, now just pull the wheel back to a stall, just pull the wheel back to a stall, pull it back to a stall. Okay, there's this. There's the stall right there, so okay. now recover. Full power, full power. Heading towards the Catskills. Now we cover up full on the, uh... So let's climb up to 3,500 feet. Yeah, let's turn. Circular heading, or...? Yeah, let's go to a heading at 030. Uh, right to a 030, right to 030. Zero, zero. Oh, 30. 030. Doing a good job, and it's just when you're doing the maneuvers, just think with you know that's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna think what they want. Okay, if it's a departure stall, you just I have to set it up to a departure, and you know they don't want the minimum of 65, no more than 75 percent power, so about 2300 RPM. And then there's a good, uh, it's good right there in heading, okay, and then just uh, start to climb, and then just make the adjustment and do it at the right there. Okay, right, 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 left aileron. There you go. Now turn that start heading is 020. That's a good heading right there, looks good. Okay, now say the engine started running at 3,500 feet, the engine started running rough. What's the first thing you're gonna do while you're uh, flying? It's gonna be my carb heat. Okay, so put the carburetor heat on, okay? You gotta drop an RPM. It doesn't come up, so there's no carburetor right, so it's not that. Okay. Okay, and what's the next thing? Uh, the next thing is push, push, push that back in. Oh, okay, so good. Pump. Okay, still starting to run around real rough. Okay, you can leave it on, gonna, leave it on. Yep. then I'm going to check my bags. Okay, you get mixtures next. Okay, mixtures okay. set. Mixtures okay, next. Okay, okay. No, that's not it. Okay, now my bags. Yep. Left and right. Yeah, no change there. Okay, then I'm going to check my fuel. Yep. And uh, I'm going to check my primer. Yep, nothing's there. Um, and all of a sudden, this happens. Okay, now your 80 is your best glide speed. So just right. relax. Just okay. let, no, we have oh, 80. You want 80? 80, 80. 80. Okay, now look out your left side. You already did Cut, that. Got a field down Okay, very good. Okay, let's go. Let's spiral right over. Spiral right over. Okay. All you can do now, nice, no, nice and easy. See that nice long field right there? Yep. That's all I'm doing. See this? Nice and easy. 80 miles. Trim it up for 80. Trim it. No, trim. No, no, let's oh, we got all the trim in it. Okay. Still. So there's it. Okay. There you are. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now at this point here, I just got to recheck it. Okay. I've checked all six things and nothing has worked. Okay. Look down there. See the oil pressure is zero and the oil temperature is high. So now stop the turn because you want to be right over the center field. Okay. The idea is we're just going to set Looking up for that long skinny yep, one. Yep. Yep. Okay. At the long skinny one. And what happens is there's this calm wind, so I can land either way. So I can set up. Usually lose about a thousand feet per spiral. Okay. okay so so I probably want to be over the middle of the field. Yep. Yep. And this is the same elevation as Great Barrington, 700 feet. So you right now you're about uh, 2,000 feet coming up to 2,200 feet above the ground, and usually. Get about 1,000 feet per spiral if you okay. stay at nice, easy. Stay right over the center. 
There you go. Goes down a little bit. Yeah, get a little. Yeah, just the, the little wobbly. Yep, yep. Yeah, just, just if it's trimmed up for eating. Okay. There you go. Yeah, I just did that. That's 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 a uh, chatter. And okay, so we're just going to. Hey, you said I could turn this even tighter yeah, as long yeah. as I maintain my eight. Yeah, right? yeah. Here's ten miles south so. of the airport. I'd have to go okay, okay, turn it right around, turn it right around. Okay. Now you decided whether you're going to land to the south. I'm too high to have heard Darwin, but I should be able to swing a red and watch your speed. Watch your speed. Okay. Now again, watch outside. Look, look outside. Watch your nose. Just watch your nose. See the nose? All okay. I do is have to do is watch your nose. See this here? Okay. So get myself squared up a little bit of an upwind because I'm still 500 feet above my pattern altitude here. Okay. Now I'm going to turn my crosswind. Okay. So now nice and easy. Just turn crosswind there. Nice like this here. Okay, now you want to do is you want to pick out, there's the end of the runway down there. You want to pick out your, your base and your final, okay? So now do is you got to get yourself, you're still 1,000, 1,200 feet, so you got to give yourself plenty of room. You got to go, as I'm doing, I'm okay. staying straight ahead here, okay? Look at a waterfall coming out of the side of the mountain. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now you do is I turn my downwind, you know, just inside the woods there and at uh, that pond, okay? So just fly to the points, okay? Okay. okay. Hold your 80. I just want to make sure it's not for real. I got there. Okay, so now you got the field made. So now it's up to you to put the bait, the flaps down, and we're going to try and land. Uh, you know, going to try and make an approach. So we're going to see if we can make the field. Okay. Okay. Now you. Oh, you're we're trimmed all the way up here. So yep, we're going to so maintain the just watch our nose. Okay, Don't want to get too far away, yep, right? Yep. Okay, so oh. which one do you want to do? Now watch the nose. This is where people hurt. You got to watch the nose. Just watch the nose. See? I'm watching the nose. See the nose, nose coming right around here? Uh, okay. Basically just trying yep. to clear yep. that little row of trees. Yep. yep, now put down your second notch. Whoops. And just watch the nose. Okay, put down your third notch. Got that made? I believe I would. Yeah, yeah. you did. Okay, very good. Okay, we'll go around now. Go now give it full power. Always give it full, always full power first. Or full power oh, first. Okay, there you go. So that's what you do. It's so nice and easy. See, I just take your time, trim it up for 80, and stay right over. You don't need to push or pull, you know, like okay. that. Just trim it up and make it nice and easy. Yeah, that felt a lot more relaxed than the last yep. couple. It's, uh, so I, I don't, I'm hoping it never feels <laughs> really relaxing, but. Yeah, well, it should. It should. It should. It should be, because if you start, you know, your, your heartbeat's going to be up. But if it happened to me, my heartbeat would be up a little bit. It should be just a thing that you're not, no big deal. I've lost the engine. Let's climb up to uh, 3,500 feet. We'll try another field over on the other side there. Okay, so okay. let's turn to a heading of a 120. The biggest thing is, is the engine starts to give you some warning, okay? If the engine, if it sounds like a washing machine uh, coming apart, then you know that it's internal and there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Right. All right. Uh, so, but if it starts running up, I can check the carburetor heat. I can check the ice, uh, the uh, fuel pump. I can check the mixture. I can switch my fuel tanks. I can uh, check my uh, magnetos. I can check my primer. Those are the only six things that you can actually do inside the airplane. Other than that, it's all academic. We're giving traffic white spirit. One final runway three three for full stop. We're giving traffic. Now it's turned to a heading of uh, zero 090. Zero. Okay, just climb back up to 3,500 feet. Yeah. <clears throat> now, when you're doing a cross country, you're always keeping in mind the field. That way, there, you don't have to be surprised. And anytime you're flying an airplane on takeoff, you're always going to prepare for an engine failure and go around on a landing. Same thing in flight. I'm always going to prepare that I have to make an emergency landing for some reason or another. If I can make it an airport, I'm going to make it an airport. But if I can't, like there's on the chart, you say you're flying along Canaan, it just says Canaan Airport. See that long strip down there? Yep. Yeah. That's the Canaan Airport. So I'd always try and find those. So I said, okay, if I have an issue, I'm going to turn right to that airport. I'm not going to, as I'm doing all this stuff, I'm going to turn right, I want to head right towards that. <laughs> If you see the airport, just fly and pick out the, uh, the uh, 3,500 feet, 3,500. Oh, oh, I thought I was there already. Yep. <laughs> the other 3,500. It's just 1,000 feet. Yeah, Great Barrington traffic, 2 zero, Romeo is over Ashley Falls, uh, Sheffield, uh, practicing at 3,500 feet. There you go. 
So any of these fields that you can land on, see all those fields? That's, that's, it's, and again, if it's from the wingtip in, I should, should be able to fly to it. Like if you look outside the wingtip, see those fields way off there? Right. I can't make those, but see these right here? I should be able to make those with yeah, no problem. There's a lot of big, beautiful ones here. Yep. Okay, let's go ahead and turn to right to heading 150. Traffic, Cherokee 558, wind 2 Back stop your turn there. Hey, see the Canaan Airport? Right down there? See that nice strip right down there? Right, right, no, right, right down here. See the white road? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's, right that's their there. strip? Yep. Okay. There you can see the airplane down there in the hangar? Now I do, yep. yep. So that's what you do, is you're just always going to try and keep an eye idea for all those, so if that's the case. big, beautiful field over here. Uh, it's got an irrigation ditch or two in it, though, Poop. Right, yeah. But if that's the only field that's available, that's the only field that's available. Right. Well, it, and it's it's long enough where yeah. it shouldn't be. Yeah, and it's corn too, so the, uh, it's, you're going to be in the corn. So. That's so if, that's a case, if that's the case, I try and land as close to the edge as possible because if you're in the middle of the cornfield, you know, I don't know how far out is out. <laughs> okay, here you go. Just lost your engine. Okay, so. Right, right towards the field. No, that's, you got the corn field. That one. Yeah, that corn field right up the left hand side. Okay, that's right there. There you go, right there. See that? There you go. Stay right over the center. Now trim it up for 80. No big deal. Okay, now I've checked your carburetor heat on. Okay, check your mixture. Check your fuel pump. Okay. Check your magneto. Check your primer and your switch your tanks. And we're not going to switch them. There you go. Okay, so there it is, okay? Now again, if I'm talking ATC on a cross country, you'd say, hey, look, I just lost my engine. I got a big field right down here. There's a, uh, you know, he'll have it in, and he'll say, okay, you appeared over that town. You, you, should, you should know the town, uh, the chart maybe, it could tell you. And they'll call and say, you got an airplane that's in distress, okay? Now, if not, you're just gonna go to 121.5. Hey, is anybody here, Cherokee? Susan? Yeah, I'm over in Canaan, Connecticut, just to the north of it on my BFR chart. I've lost my engine. I'm putting it down in a big cornfield. Okay. And then 7700. 7700 on that part there, yeah. And then hit the ident button. That's going to blow it up. Right. They're going to see that you're staying in that area and it's filing down and they'll figure it out. There's another strip right there. See that little strip with the red barn? Oh, yeah. But that's a, that's a real nasty one. Okay, so now what you do? You stand right overhead, okay? Now it's up to you to decide which way you want to land. The winds are calm. How would you could tell? How could you tell which way the wind would be if, if there was a wind? Uh, we'll try and see if there's some uh, moving on the water. Exactly. And smokestacks. Right, smokestacks or uh, fires. If the corn's tall enough. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Good. So the wind's calm. Okay. And this is about the same same elevation as Canaan, uh, Great Barrington. Like about 700 feet, this whole valley. Okay. Okay. So I think I would consider this kind of like a crosswind. Okay. Now you always set yourself up on a crosswind, downwind, yep. base, and final, okay? So, yep. I would come out a little bit, probably about this other yeah, strip run it, yep. 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 Come out about there. Okay. I would probably try and come in that side, clear that irrigation ditch. Well, you see, I got this, I got this huge, you see, I got a hill at the end there, and I got this huge field, so I turned my base Right, beam that open field down there, because I right. know I can I can put it down in that field with no problem. Right, but I mean, my target would be kind of that uh, that yeah. irrigation spot. Yep, is what I'm. Yeah, that's that road in the middle. Right. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, okay. so now I just always I'm doing is straight ahead. See this right. here? Now you start putting right. your flaps down. Okay. Always I'm doing is I'm at a downwind. Okay. Okay. But now hold it. Down. So fly straight towards. I was going to fly just okay. fly towards the uh, that white building, that white okay. uh, road up there. Don't turn the airplane. You got me. You gave, gave me some speed there though. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So. And probably turning right towards the end of this field. So. Yep, because I see, I got to look at the field Plenty behind me. Field left, I yep. mean, I'd, I'd hate to simply get low on, the, on that hill there, but now let the nose down, let the, no, let yep. the, no, let the nose down. Okay. And now put down your third notch. You got the field, mate, put down third notch. But square it off here, see this here? Okay. Nice, nice and easy, see this here? I just got to turn your final. And you got it made, see this? This is no problem whatsoever. Okay. Okay, okay, let's do a go around. There you go. Good. All right, that wasn't as, uh, 
as bad as you thought. Catastrophic, I say. Okay, we'll level off at 1,500 feet, and we'll do some turns around. We'll go to a turn, turn uh, right or left. I don't care. To heading a north. Okay. Okay. My house is right down here. Oh. So. Uh, right or left to north. I don't care which area. You're gonna level off at 1,500. Okay. Gain some altitude, but okay. okay. Any questions on that? Okay, so no. if you're flying along and you just start running rough, you'll feel it vibrating in your feet, and you don't feel the little vibration in your head of running rough. So just check, you know, the carburetor heat's the first thing, could be carburetor rise, could be mixture, could be fuel pump. So it's probably not gonna be bad gas because if you've been flying out of the same tank for a while, it's not that's not gonna do it. And then you just fly the airplane, okay, okay. And then if, uh, if you feel the engine, uh, oh, look at that, the oil pressure's going and the uh, temperature's rising, I'd climb up and try and get as high as I could if there's no airports around me or any good, if I'm just shy of an airport here. So while you got a little engine, gain yeah. as much altitude yeah, as it'll allow you? Yeah, yeah as, as, as I would allow me, but I wouldn't add too much power because that's going to piss the oil out fast. Okay. okay. So just do a nice, easy add power as necessary. Uh, and if I get the open, over, over an open field that's kind of tight, what I do is I would, you know, okay, I got to put this puppy down because there's nothing around me but this open field. You can, uh, you can always kill the engine, okay, kill the mixture, okay. And what happens is the, um, um, uh, you'll save the engine because it, it's not running at higher RPM, bring it back to idle. And it'll still be pissing oil, but it won't be doing the temperature, it'll be staying cool. And then you can always, if you're getting low, you can always turn the, mass, uh, the mixture right back on. Leave the keys and everything on because the engine's rent there's no snow gas. As soon as you have gas, the engine's going to start again, and then you can get your throttle to, to make a land. Now, when you get near putting the plane down, then, then wouldn't you, you want to turn the key off so, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, so yeah, it doesn't yeah, surprise yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but if I see like I've, I've screwed it up and I'm going to hit these trees, I just put the mixture in so I can carry over those trees, and then then I got the field made. Then I then I want to do right. is when you're on short final. Yeah, yeah, short final. Okay. Then I'm going to do is I'm going to do is kill the mixture. Uh, just pull the mixture out and uh, turn the key off. Okay. All right. Okay, we're going to head right up to the left here, and we're going to go uh, do a find that field. We'll do uh, some turns on point. Okay. You see that uh, red uh, combine in the middle of the field down there? Yep. Right, that's your point on your left-hand side. You're going to do it turns around a point at 1,500 feet, right? Okay. We pretty much got no wind, so I shouldn't yep. have to do a whole lot of compensation there, right? Yep. Theoretically, you should be able to put it in the bank and it stay the whole way around. Okay. Uh, about what? About a 45? or uh, What's that? The bank or oh, whatever's or need, no, the bank? Whatever's idea, needed? Well, it, it, it should only be about a 10 or 15 degree bank because you're trying to keep the same distance. All this is turns okay. on point. You're trying to keep the same distance all the way around. Okay, alright. Trying to keep the same distance all the way around. Okay, wait, wait, till right wait, 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 wait till it's right off your wingtip. Okay. And there it goes. There it is. There. Now, just okay. nicely pick out points at the same distance. What's the same distance? See that little body of water in the middle of the cornfield up here? That's the okay. same as, so it is, I want to fly the airplane right around it. See this right here? See the edge of the trees over there? If I pick out points and I fly to them, it's going to make it much easier. See, you're turning inside. There you go. So you're getting a little close. So what you do, you're turning it inside. You want to try and keep the same distance all the way around. There you go. All right. So, you don't necessarily want to focus on the... I want to put focus on the circumference, yep, not exactly. so much the, yep, yep. So not the point. What's the, the same? point? The point will stay there yep, if I yep. stay on my circumference. What's the same difference? Inside, see the, inside that house right there? See yep. this house right down here in the woods? Right just yep. right there. About yep. Same distance, just about just inside that. Looks about the same distance. So you pick out points and you can fly over points like so, so, like the okay. trees in the river there. And it gives you a little bit of an idea, you know, you know, and then you can play it on that part. Okay. If you get, right. if you're getting drifted too far south, then you cut it inside. If you get too close, you shallow it out. All right. There you go. I guess I was emphasizing the point part. Yeah, well, it is the point. But what happens is you want to do is keep the same same distance all the way around.
If you see you getting too close, you just shallow the bank out. If you see the, if you far away, then you steepen up the turn. Very good. There you and go. your neck doesn't get as stiff when you're not staring at the point. Yeah. There you go. Okay, level the wings. And let's go uh, to the right here. And we're going to go up and uh, see the uh, open field up there. Which one? See the, see the lake here? See that green the open big field one, yeah. there? Yep. We're going to do the four corners in there. We'll do that off the right-hand side, okay? So we just set up towards, uh, just to the left of that uh, open field there, and we'll put our right, uh, right wing on the uh, four corners. Kingston Ulster Unicom, got a caravan on floats 10 miles to the east inbound for Kingston Ulster. Anybody in traffic, please buzz. Listen, I just throw it straight towards that open field right there until you get the four corners. See the four corners, uh, the, where the house is? Where the tree cluster is? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Right, that's right where that four corners is. And uh, just wait until it's right off your wing tip and then just Barrington do a turn to the right. Traffic, 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 yeah, Great Barrington, uh, 20 Romeo is at 1,500 feet over the turnarounds point uh, area, two miles south, three miles south of the airport, and at 1,500 feet. Anybody in pattern at Kingston Ulster? Alright, so I'm going to start to pick my points already as to... I see that four corners, yep, right, yep, so exactly. I've got that field there, I've got yep. probably about the hill crest there, a little yep. past the yep. hill crest. If you look at that crest there, it makes like a little bit of a right. circle right there, so you, you get a little closer if you want. Okay, and then kind of this, the edge of this field yep. here, maybe yep. down here. Yep. And then you always want to enter with the downwind, that way there you show there's no wind now, but if there's a tailwind there, you always want to enter the tailwind first because it shows you the steepest bank that's required for the entire maneuver. Okay. Okay. The traffic okay. in the caravan Looks on good. floats now, eight miles to the east. We're going to be coming inbound. Yeah, wait till it's right off your wing tip, and, and that's the distance that you're going to be. Ready, so set, okay. and go. Okay, there is a distance. Okay, what's the, there's the same distance. The edge Just of the inside this barn or whatever. Perfect. 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 Probably. Uh, Left yep. now went for one five. And then and probably just, just over that little valley in that. Yep, perfect. You got the road. road. You got the idea. Yeah, just watch your nose for the altitude. Oh. There you go. Hey, again, if you see you're getting too close, you shallow. It's you get the points ahead of the wings, so that tells me I'm getting yeah. too close, okay? So just shallow the bank out, just shallow okay. it out for a little bit. <coughs> and you'll see the point, there you go, it's there. Now it's off the wingtip again, and there you go. There you go, very good. Now you see how this mountain makes this little ridge right around right. here? So try to just follow yep. that. Yep, follow that right around there. See, right down there, there you go. I see they maybe have a little bit of a tailwind. See how it's blowing you, so now you got to okay. tighten it up and turn the nose inside the circle just a little bit, because I, I assume that the winds are starting to pick up out of the north, because they're supposed to pick up now. Now turn inside the nose, turn, there you go. You have to have the nose inside the circle, so the point will be ahead of the wing, so the wind doesn't blow you too far out. Okay. There you go, very nice. And you can see the same thing with the trees across the road right here. Yep. That's about the same distance. Now as you come in, very nice. Give me a turn left downwind. There you go. Thanks to Nolter. Very, very nice. Any questions on that? No, that makes a lot more sense now. Yep, I'll do one more and then we're gonna, when we head south, we'll stop it. We'll do S turns up the road, okay? Yeah. S turns are the maneuvers that, uh, same thing as this, but it's a half one way, half to the left, half to the right, half to the right. Great Barrington traffic, Cherokee 558, Zach taxiing runway 29. Beautiful. There you go. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. A little, little in there okay. or something. Yep. 
Yep. Pulled me in a little farther than I thought, or I banked yep. a little farther. And that's the idea, is you just talk yourself through it, and then you're going for your check ride. So I get a little closer. Then they, if you talk to like that, he said, like, oh, did the examiner knows that, oh, okay, he understands he's close, he's making He's aware of it. He's aware of it. If not, you're just like that. But if you tell him, hey, look, I need to hold it. I see I, I, my ground speed's in, picked up a little bit. Yeah, okay, we'll stop our turn right about now. Stop the turn, stop the turn, okay. stop the turn. Okay, now, there's going to be, these are the S-turns. See uh, Sheffield Pottery down there, the red building? Yep. Hey, just to the left of it is a uh, railroad track that's going to go straight up to Great Barrington. So if I turn now to heading about 120, just current turn right now to heading okay. 120, maintain 1,500 feet, tighten it right, tighten it right up, tighten it right up. Air Great Barrington 2 Zero Romeo is doing S turns up the railroad tracks at 1,500 feet. We'll stay a mile and a half south of the airport. Okay, so now do you see the railroad tracks cut to the woods up there? You'll see it in a second. Kind of tough there with the trees here. Yeah. I got the airplane. Okay. Pretty much right over them almost. Yep. Now the railroad tracks. You see the railroad tracks now? Yep. All right. So the wings are parallel. Now you're going to do a turn to the left. You're just going to do a semicircle to the left. Ready? Okay. Start. There you go. Now pick a point right off your wingtip and use it. Okay. Now you just do the same thing. If somebody's over that open field with a dirt patch in the middle of it, see, uh, you do, oh, they're doing okay. a semicircle here. A lot okay. of 340 Alpha Fox truck. About uh, three minutes south, maybe 15 miles. I picked the yeah, entire yeah, point yeah, here. Yeah, so yeah, just sir, okay. two nine, great And you got a uh, Cherokee 140 at 1,500 feet, uh, three miles south of the airport, doing ground reference maneuvers. Collides up. Yes, and I see it now. I just, I just want to have it set up. <coughs> so that as I cross the railroad tracks, I want my wings to be perpendicular again. Okay. Okay. Okay, now just pick a point, now just go roll right into here, just okay. pick a point right up here. See four corners probably? Uh, no, I usually oh. uh, see the first solar panels. Okay. So I just bring it right to the center of the rock. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, there you go. And then now, see the uh, open field up there where that white roof is? That's about the same distance, so now you got something to shoot for on the turn. Okay. There you go. Beautiful. There you go. Now you want to see that nose coming, so you got to pull that nose up. You got to pull the nose up, pull the nose up, okay? Now get ready, get set, now roll the wings level. Let's go right to the left. Nine, staying in the pattern, we'll be looking out for the okay. lattice okay. to the east. You see the L-shaped barn right there? That's yep. the center of the circle. So now, yep. now you got somebody's over the first red barn up there. There you go. Okay, let's look outside. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, now get ready, get set, and roll your wings level. That's good. And I just go right into one to the right. There you go. Now you don't. You can you can make them as wide as you want or as tight as you want. Makes okay. no difference. But you're going to use that house with all the uh, that cars. You know, whatever that place is there. Tighten it right up. Tighten it right up. Tighten it. But see, you got to watch. See that wind. But see the nose is going down. So yeah. you just got to watch that nose. See that was a little too tight because Ooh. you couldn't recover yeah. from it. Okay. So now this time here, just all take right. your time here. Is it? See in the center of the woods right there. Okay. okay. Hey, there you go. Nice and easy. There you go. And this time we're going to go down the valley, right? Okay, so and left? Yeah, maybe a left hand turn, so. Okay. Railroad tracks uh, through the woods. And you'll see right with that, see where the, uh, the Brook crosses there, right there, any way you want. Okay, ready? Okay. Wait till, okay, now you're just gonna go to the left. Now watch this, nice and easy, see this here? All I'm doing is pick, see that middle that open green field right there? Yep. There, that's what I'm doing right there. So now it's, well, it's the same distance, see the wood log piled down there? So all I'm doing is I'm making an arc from here, right, that point is the, the railroad tracks right off my wingtip in the center of the green field, and I see the uh, the greenhouse down here. That appears to be the same distance. So now okay. I have something to fly to. So nice and easy. As I come here, I know the tailwind is starting to pick up from the from the north. So I see here, I'm going to tighten it right up. Prepare so now I see that center five, field. Uh, three four zero Alpha Fox, yep. that's a five mile final runway two nine. Great Barrington. Okay, now just roll your wings level. Okay, now just pick a spot. You see that house, the silver barn right there? Yeah. That's the center of it. So you're going to be somewhere down be uh, just solar uh, panels first uh, ones? Just before the first solar, solar, yeah. solar panels. Yep. There you go. Nice and easy, looking out for Oop. traffic. Yeah, you're doing fine. Gaining a little altitude, yeah. but... Yeah. Yeah. So you're halfway through the turn, beautiful. And the idea is you want to edge it so that you've got to watch your altitude. And you just want to have it so that you, as you roll your wings level, parallel to the railroad tracks. Okay. Nice and easy, nice and easy. you got still time, 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 now. Give it, yeah, now roll the wings level. Now, nice and easy, just roll right in, take your time. 
Okay, so we're right into it now. So just outside those black barns, yep. orange barns. Yep. Or... And I want to be about par parallel yep. at my... At the wingtip, exactly right. correct. There you go, just, just like that. Uh, 3 4 Delta Fox starts the uh, two-mile final runway 29 Great Barrington. There you go. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. There you go. Beautiful. One more time. Now just pick a point. So that one tree right off the wingtip. See the tree in the middle there? Uh, I get a different point, I think. Oh, whatever, whatever point <laughs> you want. It makes a difference. So you pick the point, and I can tell if you're doing the same point. Guys, it takes me a while to find the point yep. that you're talking yep. about. Yep. So. Yep. Yeah, you're doing good. Good. Any questions? No. Okay, okay, we'll stop our turns. Okay, good. So we've we've done all the basics again. We've done the uh, excellent. Here, let's put these on here for a second. Uh, got the airplane. Uh, got a hood. If it's, it's if a hood is easier. Yeah, I can make it work. All right. Hey, all right, we're doing this. Okay, you're doing straight and level flight. Okay, at uh, this heading of west. Okay, at 20 and 15 feet. Okay. Uh, two zero, Romeo. We need you to climb because of terrain. So turn left to a heading of 180 and climb to 2,500 feet. So nice. All they do is a standard rate turn, just a shallow turn right here. Standard rate. Give it full power. And let now just hold the nose right there and let the nose, don't let it see. Don't let it steepen up. Shallow it out, shallow it out, shallow it out. Sh so you're steeping it up, you want okay, to hold it right there, right. you go. That's it. There here, your nose there. Here comes my 180, so stop the turn. Come right here, stop the turn, stop the turn, stop the turn. There you go. And now as you do is I'm just going to climb straight ahead to 2,500 feet. If the airplane's all trimmed up for it, it's going to maintain the speed that you had all trimmed up for in cruise flight. And if I want to uh, do a 90, just reach up there and give it a little turn to uh, turn or trim up. Trim it up. Take your, Give it one turn, trim up. Okay, now just take your hand off the wheel and see what happens. Those are still going down. 80 Give 80 it just a little bit more. I got you. There you go. So there it is. There's my 180. And I just take your hands off the wheel. See, it's climbing nicely. See this here? It's got a nice climb going, and it's you're, you're, you're just monitoring the airplane. Great Barrington, traffic, Turkey 558, base 29, Great Barrington. Got to keep your heading. You want, this is your primary, uh, these are your primary banks. You got a whole 180, so you just, see, there you got to go a little bit to the right. You got a 10 degrees to the right, so what they do is, if it's less than 30 degrees, divide the degrees by two, and that's uh, how many banks. So you got 10 degrees, so only a five degree. See, you're still turning to the left. You want to go to the right. There you go. Great Barrington, Pilatus is clear. There you go. See, there's my heading. Okay, now, but don't push your nose, don't push your nose, just let the nose, take your hand off the wheel, take your hand, take your hand off the wheel, take your hand off the wheel, let the airplane do its thing, nice and easy, we're going to go up to 3,000 feet, oh, 3,000, we're going to go up to 3,000 now, okay, so, now it is, you're going to hold your heading at 180, so now, once I get to 3,000, I put all that trim in there, all I have to do before I do anything with the, see, so you're turning the airplane again, yeah. again, the idea is, all I have to do is, these two right here, that's all I right there, see that? Taylor, traffic at Caramel 906 South Pike is three miles to the northeast. That's it. Keep that, keep that right there. When I get to close, I'm just going to reach up and I'm going to trim it down, but keep the wings level because again, I put all that trim in there to help me climb. So now I'm just going to take it out. It was two, almost two turns. There you go. I hate this. Now just lower the nose and let the airspeed pick up. There you go. Now again, as you, there's your speed, so now you got to bring the power back so you don't climb. Bring the power back, but keep the wings level, wings, see, so keep the wings level, wings uh, level. I can't, because if I level the wings, I'm going to turn. No, no, just right there, there. You're pushing the rudder or something, just let me, oh. see, let me see here. There you go, there's wings level, oh. and you're not turning, okay? There you go. Okay, so now you're going to have to, there's my uh, 3,000. <clears throat> if you had a little power, so the torque may have been pulling it down there. Okay, let's do a 360 all the way around to the left, <coughs> standard rate turn. So see that, put that box on that box. Okay. That's all you got to do. Okay, there you go. But don't pull the wheel back. Don't see you're pulling the wheel back. Just yeah. let the nose do its thing. a natural response, I think. That? It just seems like a natural response. Yeah, but. yeah. But you do have to pull the wheel back a little bit, but just nice easy. See that? That's about to park it. See that orange thing right between those two right there? That puts it on that box, plus or minus. There you go. There you go. That's all I got to worry about. They, they, you're steepening the bank up, and that, that's what causes you. You're pulling the wheel back. Don't pull the wheel back. Don't let it take your hand, take your hand off the wheel. Take your hand off the wheel. There you go. See, 
You're pulling the wheel back. Just let the airplane fly itself. That's all I need is about a 10 to 15 degree bank turn. There it is. There it is. Start to a heading of 180, all the way around to 18, all the way to 180. There you go. And the idea is when they do this for the check, they're going to do, you know, you start off good, and after about one minute, that's when people start to lose it because they start chasing it. So they're going to do at least one minute on this and just going to see the two minute. But if you do a standard rate turn, what you're doing it takes two minutes to go all the way around. See how stable you are now? There you go. Just. Okay, back to traffic two zero Romeo's over Canaan at uh, three thousand feet uh, doing maneuvers. There you go. Hey, Rich, I'm type of warrior overhead the field three thousand four Skylark traffic experimental left base two eight Skylark. Gotta go right to one eight zero, right to one eight zero. Well for traffic check to nine eight six seven Julia, it's turning left. And now roll your wings level, roll your wings level, wings level, we'll just go right to this instrument here, put it right on there, go right there. Now just go all the way around to the right, now you're going to go standard rate turn all the way around to the right. You're going to go same thing, all the way around. Three thousand feet looks good. There, see how so easy it is now. Once you get once you get used to it, there you go. Nice. As you're heading north, heading north. north. Right. Okay, now I want you to just set up a descent straight ahead to 2,500 feet. So all I have to do is once you, once you get yourself stay away at, at right here. North, no. no, no, no. You're turning. You see, you're still turning the airplane to the left. Your wheels pulling the nose down. There you go. What I need is these two right here. All right, this is level, and that's not turning. There you go. That's good right there. Wings level. Wings level. Wings level. There you go. And now I want to descent straight ahead. So just hold the wheel steady here, like this here. Now. If it maintains level altitude here, if I bring the power back below 2,000, let just bring it back below 2,000. Now let the nose down. Just let the let the nose down. See? The wing's level. And what it does is it sets up a descent because the wings are level. It's not turning, but I'm not forcing it, and it's going to maintain the same speed that you got. I want you to level off at 2,500 feet. So once I get to 2,500 feet, you know, all I have to do is add the power that I took off, and it should come right back to straight level flight. So you're still turning the airplane. There yeah. you go. Now, this is because of the torque. You got to be careful with the, uh, right. you know. That's why I need a little runner. Yep. There you go. Now, don't pull the wheel back. Let the nose down. Let the nose down. Let the nose See, see you stopped your descent. Okay. Okay, 10%, you're doing 500 feet a minute, so about 50 feet before 2,500 feet. Just start feeding the power in there and watch it as they go. And I just feed the power right in there. Yeah, that's it. Right there, that's enough. Now, just, that's all you need right there. Okay. Now, I just come to straight level flight. Okay, here's the, uh, you gotta maintain 2,500 feet. Okay, now here's the Chester VOR, okay? So what you do is they just, they'll say, okay, go to Chester, it's clear over Chester. So I tune on the VO 15-1 and I put it in the center of the needle, the two indication here. So it says, turn to a heading of 080 and you'll go right to the Chester VOR and it should be clear. Zero. I, I got it in there, see, I got the Chester VOR and that like that. So now I just go ahead and turn, all you're doing is turn the airplane to a heading of 080. That's gonna go right to your standard rate, only about a, see this here, just park it between the, the first two lines. There you go. Perfect. There you 
you up. So now as I'm doing is this, if I keep that needle centered, it's going to take me right to the chest of AOR. And what they're doing is they're going to keep you under the hood about two or three minutes like this, okay? So the idea is, yeah, I'm going to maintain you 2,500. So just take you in, let the airplane do its thing. Take you in off the wheel, take you in off the wheel, let the airplane. So it's got a shallow descent, so it needs just a tad of up trim, okay? Because it's got plenty of power, okay? So just give it just a tad of up, that's all you need right there. That's it. Climb up now to 3,000 feet. So again, at this speed here, all I have to do is give it full power, and it's going to be a little bit of right torque. So you're just going to have to have a little bit of right rudder to keep your heading of zero nine to keep this ball centered. And all I do is I'm going to let the nose up, let the nose up, let the nose up, because I'm climbing. I want it to climb, and it's trip for that. You have your straight level flight. So if I give it power to keep that same speed, I have to climb. There you go. Okay, don't chase it. See, don't turn, don't turn, don't turn, don't turn. There you go. Okay, now I want you to do is I want you to tune in 15-3 and take me directly to the VOR. So 115, that's already in there, 15. Now just put the... Oh, 15? Yeah, 115.3. Okay, now take me to the VOR. So just tune that until you get us two indication and needle centers. Just turn it. And when I do it, now go back. There you go. There's the heading to take it. Once you settle it right there, there's my heading. So turn to that heading of about 350, okay? okay. There's my 3000. So just bring the power back and level off. Bring the power back and level off. There you go. Now just a standard return. Standard return is all I want to do. There you go. 50? Yep, that says 35. If you want to go to it, I got to go 350. 360, 350. Yep. Nice stand return only. Watch your bank, watch your bank. Standard rate only. Standard. When you're doing the hood, you want to do nothing but standard rate. Because once you start over banking, you're going to start getting yourself again. Now, you, it's a freebie, so just recenter the needle by tuning that, tuning that there. I go in there to fine tune it. So there's my heading right there. Good. About uh, 348. Right, so we just got 348. Hold that heading for a little bit. There we go. Go ahead switch our fuel tanks. So if you get yourself into a pickle with reduced visibility and then you said, hey, look, you call kind of the, the, the uh, climb, uh, communicate, okay, is what you want to do. And uh, stay calm, climb, communicate. And you contact Albany or 21.5 and Albany says, yep, it's clear up in Albany. We got you on radio. I'll give you a, a transponder code. And it's just said, if you just uh, tune in to just the Albany VOR and hold the 350 and take it, go right to there, we have clear skies. Just maintain this. And at 3,000 feet, there's no terrain between you and uh, Albany at 3,000 feet. So all I have to do is hold my heading at 350. Good. Okay, now you get a little turbulence. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yep, so sometimes you gotta fly through the turbulence. Welcome to the Berkshires. Okay, I need you to climb up to 3,500 feet. So again, all I have to do is give it full power and let the nose up. But you're gonna have to add a little bit of right rudder to hold that heading. There you go. And just let the airplane climb. Just let the, let the wheel do its thing. Let the wheel do its thing. See that? 
it's with that power setting, it's, it has to climb because there's trim from straight and level flight. And uh, once I uh, add the power, then I have to, uh, the nose has to come up. Okay, turn left, you're heading at 330 now. I'm up to 3,500 feet. I go to 325, 325. Now again, if you're doing the hood work, if it, whatever the turn is, if you limit to a 15 degree bank turn, it's gonna make it much, much easier for you. Ready to get the, the okay. 3,500 feet, you get uh, and level off and fly for one minute, then you can take the hoods off. There you go, very good. I got your point, take the hood off. Very, very good. Very, very nice. Okay. You're flying along on across country there. Okay. And you're uh, heading up towards uh, Buffalo, New York, and the Great Barrington Airport is uh, just off to your left. Oh, hey, there it is. All right. Now, there's a type of descent that you can do. There's two types of descents. Great. Turn to traffic, Bonanza 00, Victor, back to X runway 2900. Okay, uh, there are. Uh, uh, two types of de emergency descents. One is if I got a fire, I got to blow it out by getting way up in here. Right. And the other is I'm flying along and all of a sudden happens and I got to get down to the airport right there. So the easiest way to do that is if I do the speed, I'm going to take up a lot of distance. I don't want to take up distance here, but let's turn a couple degrees to the left there. Let's go about 310. There you go. Uh, 310. 310. There you go. As they say, uh, you have here and all of a sudden, you know, it's not engine, somebody gets uh, sick or having a heart attack, stroke, or something like that, and you gotta get down. So, well, it looks like they got a hospital down there. And it looks like that, you're talking to them, yep. So what you do is you need to do an emergency descent and get down to the pattern altitude as quickly as possible because you don't want to do that. Okay, so, a further here. And the easiest way to do that is <clears throat> you gotta put the carburetor heat on, bring the power all the way off. Whenever I tell, not yet, not yet, when I tell you. Okay. 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 It's carburetor heat, power all the way off. And then what you do is you're gonna put down all three knots of the flaps if you're in a white arc, and you're gonna hold it right there at 120, okay? By holding the nose down, that's gonna allow you to get down. You can do a, in this case here, uh, the, you see that you're at 3,500 feet and the pattern altitude is 1,700 feet, so you gotta lose a little altitude. So the idea is you just wanna keep that speed in mind and fly the airplane, so you just turn around and come right around on the base and fly. Eight and a half miles north of the field, inbound Lanny Creeper. Hey. Uh, runway one five. Hey, Great Barrington, two zero Romeo is overhead at thirty five hundred feet, doing a simulated uh, uh, emergency descent with flaps. So we're going to be keeping it tight and quick. Hey, okay. So I have a heart attack. So, oh God. Okay. So I said, Oh God, your person's here. So you need to get down. So carburetor heat on. Bring the power all the way off. Every set put on all three knots of flaps. Now you gotta let the nose down, let the nose down. See this here? Here's it, here's this. You got any, you want to keep a positive load on the airplane, keep it right down there, see this? Okay. And I want a 120? Uh, yep. Yeah, great That's what I'm pitching for. Two zero Romeo is doing a simulated emergency descent for runway 29. Okay, so now you're gonna set up here, so just set yourself up here like this here. All I wanna do is I wanna go down and come in and land. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Keeping a look for other airplanes. And uh, you, you gotta hold the speed right okay, down there. gotta let it, yep. Get, let it down to 120. Yep. Yeah, you're doing fine. Super counterintuitive, but. Oh, yep. And then, now you have to plan. See, I want to turn my base. See, now all the way around that like that. And I got, I got, I got 500 feet. Now, once you get this squared away, we're back then. Uh, 20 Rob is turning a high downwind for a simulated uh, emergency landing on runway 29. Okay, now here is, come up here. Now here it is, looks good. So here's my normal pattern. Okay, so now it looks good. So now I gotta stop the descent. Okay, transition. Now, transition. Uh, Romeo in sight. We're gonna plan the cross over the big field. So now, there's, now there's the airport. There's, now yeah. just keep keep it coming around. But you got power, you got you got power, you got power. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got power, it's just whatever it takes. Okay, so now you wanna start slowing the airplane up to 80. Bring the power all the way off. Slow it up, you know, keep, bring the power off. The idea, no, the idea is. Oh, uh, get in as quick as possible. Yeah, yeah, the idea is, you just gotta do See this here? I'm just, I'm just looking straight out like that. The speed's good, Dennis. The idea is you just need to get down. Okay. okay you got your plane. You got to hold that wheel back because of the trim. There you go. Okay. Yeah, Great Barrington, uh, 2 0 runway turning a uh, short final for runway 2 9. Very nice. You see how that works? Yep. 
Okay, now you got them all. Uh, power under work. Alright. Perfect. Keep your feet on the road. Hey, Rolf, will I get in your way if I uh, cross over the midfield during the left down window? You want me to do something else so you can depart? No, I gotta uh, do some other stuff here, uh, reprogram the database, so go ahead. Hey, that's, okay, that's how you do that. All any, right. any questions on that? I uh, probably will later. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, uh, I gotta process it, think it through a few times. But. Okay. We can call it quits on that, or you can do another takeoff and landing. I don't care, whatever you want to um, do. Let's do one more takeoff okay. and landing okay. just because. Right. We really didn't do one at all. Yeah. Uh, but you see how they did that's an emergency descent. The idea is you plan, okay, you, and you got, you got the power, okay? Right. right. I, that's what I was trying to think. Clear the active runway back taxi on the uh, taxiway. That's the big difference was to remember that okay, that wasn't Cardinal that type of an emergency. Cardinal that was somebody has a heart attack and or you know so you hit a bird and you got right. a broken window and you got you, yeah. you got, you got I mean that one leaves you a lot more options. Yep, yep. And it just you got power, but I just I need to get down. If I go to 140, and I'm gonna have that wide wide pattern. I need to get it, especially if somebody's having a heart attack or somebody's having a stroke. You need to get the airplane on the ground right, as quickly right. as possible. Now if I'm over Canaan and this has happened, what I'm doing is I'm just gonna pick that speed. I'm just gonna give it full ball. I'm just gonna do that. Keep it in a day like today. Keep it right here and just do a nice descent like that all the way up there. And then as, as they set up, okay, there's the airport. I got to start slowing the airplane up. So the idea is you want to get there as quickly as possible. And obviously communicating if you yes. need emergency yep, services. Yep, yep, so. yep. It's, 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 that's why I said when you're flying along, if you get that, you're going to, you know, you're talking to ATC, but it's okay, if I have to go somewhere, is this going to be Great Barrington? Hey, hey, Great Barrington, this is Tuesday around me. I'm making an emergency landing. I need an ambulance ASAP. Please call an ambulance ASAP. Please answer me. You know, right. the traffic. Cardinals on the left downwind, uh, two nine great bearing. Biggest thing is communication. If you tell everybody what you need, there'll be, an, and if it's a towered airport, you just go to, hey, tower, this is a uh, two zero Romeo, I'm five miles west. west. I have an emer medical emergency. Right I need now. to get on the ground as quickly as possible. I can land on runway one five with winds of and they're using three three. I can land on one five, or I can land on two. You know, but then also it comes into a situation like if I land on one five, that takes me away from the terminal. Okay, so I may want to just land on another runway, so it's, it's a quicker ride to the terminal. There's that cardinal there. Yep, yep, we'll hold short for him. Yep. Two zero Romeo's holding short. And uh, cardinal's gonna break off the uh, approach to the north, Great Bank. Hey, fuel selectors, proper tank. Uh, fuel. Engine gauges are good. Just give it a little bump just to make sure we're Oil pressure is still good there. Hey, magnetos are both primer locked. Uh, strobes are on, landings on. Herb heats off, mixtures red. There's good. Uh, Excuse me, Romy. Go ahead to and two. depart. Uh, it's got a weird gear indication, so I'm just going to break it off and uh, check this out and come back in the land again. Okay, very good. Okay, heading indicator. Do that this time. Okay. Everything okay up there? Uh, so far. Okay. I think it's just the um, sensor switch that the uh, pump just didn't stop running, so I'm going to just cycle again and see what happens. Okay, very good. Hey, we're still on altitude. Controls are free. Here, bars, windows, see. Okay. okay. We take it off. I just, uh, just do a normal takeoff, normal landing. Good. Okay. We want to try a soft field takeoff. We can do that. Okay, let's start with the wheel all the way back. And the idea is the soft field is you're never going to come to a stop once you start rolling. Right. All the way back, and you're going to watch the nose as it comes up. You're just going to relax a little bit, fly ground effect, and off you go. Kay. Okay, so start with the wheel all the way back yep. like this. Here. Okay. Great Barrington traffic, 7920 <laughs> Romeo, departing runway 29, staying in the pattern. Uh, now just nice and easy so you don't have to use any brakes. Nice and easy so you don't. The idea is you don't, you don't want you right. to protect that nose. You don't want to sink in. Yep. Right, hold that wheel back, just watch that nose. See that nose coming up? Beautiful. Yeah. There you go, just like that. You gotta carry a lot of right rudder in this yeah. airplane. Right rudder in this airplane. Right rudder, right rudder, right rudder. Uh -huh. Hold that nose off, hold that nose off. There, now lower the nose, lower the nose. There you go, get ground effect. There's your best angle, now you go right to your best angle. Now, what's your 78? Now, now you wanna go to 78, so you gotta hold that 78. 
until you clear the obstacle. That's part of the maneuver, okay? okay. And then once I've cleared the maneuver, now I'm an obstacle, then I can go to my 80, 84, whatever it is. Uh. Okay, very good. Two zero Romeo, the Cardinal's about a couple miles just off your nose. We'll plan to follow you in the pattern and stay out of your way in land number two. Yeah, if you want to get in, just turn across and I'll follow you in. Okay, if you don't mind, we'll turn across and now then, thanks. Okay, we'll follow you in. Okay, right. he's on a crosswind, yep. I'll branch out to the right. Yep. Give up some space. And uh, it appears you have three things hanging underneath your airplane. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, thanks very much. I'll make it wider. Yep. Upwind. Well, he's a lot faster, so once we're wingtip okay. to, he's a lot faster than us. So once we're wingtip to wingtip, then you can start turning your cross. The oh, there he is. Yeah, he's a lot faster. Oh, yeah. Yep. yep. And I just told me doing a crosswind for runway. Great yeah. Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning right crosswind, uh, runway 29. A lot faster. Okay, go ahead, stop your turn there, stop your turn, stop your turn. Okay. Right, Kingston traffic, you have a blue helicopter two miles south of the field entering a right down window runway one spot. Kingston, looking for the truck. It looks good. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning left downwind, runway 29. Traffic up to 6460, leaving the final 15. Great Barrington traffic, Cardinal left base 29. Blue Grapevine to traffic, Cardinal final, runway 29, Grapevine. Grapevine to traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning left base, runway 29. Great Barrington traffic, 7520 Romeo, turning final, runway 29. Kingston traffic, you have a blue helicopter uh, turning final, runway 15, and we're going to sidestep to taxiway Alpha for parking at TS across from the uh, low red tank. Kingston. Beautiful approach, beautiful. Cardinal's clear, runway 29, Great Barrington. Lines down at the wind sock, you see you got just a little bit of wind off the pretty much right down the runway. Now don't over control, no, you don't, don't oh, pump it. it. Hold the airplane, hold, hold steady, see this here? See you're pumping, you don't need to pump. There you go, power off, there you go. Right rudder, right rudder, straighten it out, right rudder. Don't pump it, hold it right there, there you go. It's coming down nicely. What happens is you're, you're on final. You're still you're doing you're doing this a lot here, so that's induced your stuff. So just hold. If you see you doing this here, just hold the wheel steady and see what the airplane's doing. Very nice. All right, that's a fuel pump. Uh, I can't get in that north uh, south side. Uh, it's just we'll park it next to two two hotel for now. Okay. So,
Very, very nice. Alright, let's see. 